CRTs, we're always we're always thinking to ourselves anytime we have a patient with an abnormal sensorum or a decreased level of consciousness, why is their level of consciousness decreased? Why is the patient uptunded? Why are they lethargic? Um, different things like that. So that's how we put all these words into play. Now, for me, I want to show you right here. I kind of draw a line. This is this is kind of how I remember it. I I draw a line right there between lethargic and uptunded, because if I have a patient who is somnolent or 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 lethargic in the description of what's going on, or I find them, and that's what I'm finding them. I'm, it doesn't mean I'm not assessing the situation. It doesn't mean I'm not going to do anything. It just means that, okay, this is not as a severe situation just based off of the level of the consciousness or the sensorium than what I might find if I am told that the patient is obtunded or stuporous or comatose. This is going to be a higher acuity patient based off of a more aggressive intervention because of the severely decreased sensorium that is stated to me either in an exam scenario or for a patient at the bedside with me.